Greetings, everybody. Welcome and good afternoon from London in our time. Good morning. If you're in Washington, good evening. If you're east of us and good night, if you're on the other side of the world. I hope you're doing well wherever you are. And thank you for coming in for this, which is the fourth session of the ISRM, Institute of Strategic Risk Management, CSWP, Center for the Study of Wicked Problem, Global Urban Resilience, launch virtual conference. We're having three days of sessions to launch our Global Urban Resilience Program, which we hope will create a platform and a framework to allow our, our global network, our global community of individuals and institutions to come together and have a genuinely grown up and meaningful discussion around the challenges we're facing today on a global, national, regional, local community level, whatever it might be, in terms of creating safety and security in our urban environments. Uh, in my opinion, this is a problem which should be absolutely at the top of the list of anybody, any planner, whatever sector they're in. And in my opinion, it's not being paid attention to. It's not being treated with the re respect or seriousness that it deserves. And hopefully this conversation will be a trigger and this program, this 18-month program, would be a trigger for that. If anybody is interested in talking to us about that or getting involved or collaborating, we want to hear from you. We'd love to talk to you about that. In the meantime, today, what we're going to be looking at is disaster resilience and creating disaster resilience within city management. We have three people who have been deeply involved in that from different aspects. We have Peter Willis coming in from South Africa. Peter was involved with the Cape Town Drought Response Learning Initiative, which is where I first met when he was giving fantastic presentations on that in London. That's where we first uh, got together. Um, and of course, Cape Town was almost an I will say this, and it may well be that people disagree with me, but I would say that we've never yet lost a major global city, but Cape Town came pretty damn close. Um, and I think in 2011, Fukushima, when we had a radioactive cloud coming out of Tetco Daiichi nuclear power station towards Tokyo, was probably the other major event where we could have lost a major city. But Cape Town came literally within hours of being a city without water. Uh, Peter did some fantastic research, a longitudinal multi-communal programs around that, which we'll discuss later. So, Peter, great to have you here. Richard Bingham, Thanks. Richard Smith Bingham coming in from Marsh McLennan. Richard, I have to say, I, we see you and, and Marsh as a partner and as a supporter and as an ally of the ISRM, which we, we genuinely appreciate. We've done work here in, in, in London, in Ukraine, in Australia, in Saudi, together with Marsh McLennan. Um, and we, we genuinely appreciate that. You are the executive director of the Marsh McLennan London office and probably wider than that, but I know you within the London, but I'm sure you say, hey, you think that's what I do? Man, let me tell you. But I know you, of course, within that within that context. Um, and what Marsh McLennan is, it basically is it has a genuinely global perspective with a local context, I mean, all around the world. And Richard, I think it's fair to say that global complexity, infrastructure, emerging risks is probably where you spend your time conceptually. So Great to have you here. Douglas Gray, Doug comes in from New Zealand. We originally brought Doug in. He came over to, to, to London, you know, young kid in the big city, didn't really know what he was doing. We wanted to look after him, you know how it goes. Um, but we, wanted, we were basically working on a Ukrainian government contract, um, and we brought Doug in to be C COO for that. Then the contract fell through. We got left, and I thought, no, no, we're going to bring this guy on board. So I'm delighted to say that Doug is now part of our senior management team and has made a real difference to us. But in, back in New Zealand, was involved in national level policy development and implementation. So Doug, great to have you here, and um, we'll kick off. 